So in this video, you see a real world example of a soft shell manufacturing process is used in commercial products. This is the moment that the dissolved gelatin mass gets discharged into the holding tank. You see that it's very clear and it doesn't have any bubbles in it. It's also quite hot. At this stage, it has maybe 70 degrees. Now in this step, the colorant is added. Specifically now, this is a mix of glycerol with titanium dioxide and the coloration takes place in the holding tank using a jet stream mixer so that no air is entrapped there. This takes anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. And now this is a closer look of the encapsulation machine. You see the pumping block where the pistons volumetrically dose the fill mass. The distance that the pistons go corresponds to the actual volume. Now, this is the white gelatin mass we've just seen in the spreader box. Here it is 60 degrees and it is cast onto the cooling drums, which are 20 degrees, with a very thin ribbon. This ribbon is elastic and can be conveyed onto the metal parts of the encapsulation machine. These rolls apply the lubrication so that it doesn't stick. And this is now the heart of encapsulation, the rotating die rolls with the wedge and the gelatin ribbons in between. From top, you see now the fill mass being pumped through the wedge. And here you see the rotating die rolls, in this case with two RPM. And at that time, the gelatin ribbon is being heated up on the wedge and being made ready for encapsulation. Once the capsules are formed, they are then cast out and the cutout that you've just seen is discarded. Here you see the elastic, very wet capsules being separated from their net. Then on the conveyor belt, they're transferred further to the rotating perforated tumbler for pre-drying. And this tumbler already has a couple of towels to remove the excess lubricant. After that, the drying step is continued in a conditioned room at specified conditions, like I mentioned, 10 to 30 or 40% relative humidity and typically approximately 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. There's a lot more to learn about soft gels. If you're interested, we have a complete online class for you. Just click the link below.